Another day of Centrelink congestion as even more Australians find themselves in this a heartbreaking position. Just lost three jobs, hospitality industry and jewellery. Partners just lost his business. Yeah, like 12 years of perfect employment. It all blows up in 24 hours. Long lines again wrapping around the block, some even arriving in the early hours of the morning to beat the rush. So I got here about 6.30 this morning. So uh, there was a couple of people, but there's a lot more now. As businesses were forcibly shut down and many found themselves without work on Monday, the online tool for government assistance, MyGov, crashed. The initial site failure wrongly blamed on a cyber attack. I didn't think I'd have to prepare for 100,000 concurrent users. Uh, again, my bad, not realising that the sheer scale of the decision. This morning he's popped his head up and said, my bad, like a teenager, you know, taking responsibility for not doing the dishes the night before. Wake up, big boy. Get out with your shoes on and see what's going on out there. My God, where are you people? Well, how about you say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. MyGov is still struggling to keep up with demand. We tried yesterday several times from early in the morning to late last night and couldn't get through. Overnight upgrades which boosted the site's capacity to 70,000 concurrent users, simply not enough. This morning we had 123,000 people on the MyGov website and the, the site was still operating and operating much more quickly than it was yesterday. Existing Centrelink recipients will automatically receive the additional $550 fortnightly payments from April 27. New recipients don't need to wait in line. You can start your application on mygov.com. Proof of identity required for the customer reference number can be provided over the phone and claims will still be processed before the ID check is completed. The government says it's simplified the claims process and employed 5,000 extra Centrelink staff. But as phone and online systems continue to be overwhelmed, that's little comfort for those left here. Andrea Crothers, Sky News.